not had a great time out here in Sri Lanka though he's got a wonderful record in that high score of 264 was against Sri Lanka on his way that's pure class good evening Sunny Gavaskar good evening Russell yes uh, it's such a little margin for error when you're bowling to a batsman of uh, Rohit Sharma's ability all he needs is just a little bit of room around the off stump to free his arms and he'll uh, punch you through the covers like he's just done. Crash. Bit of width. He hit it hard. No chance for her running to Hasaranga. But that's why he's such a special player. Look how late he's played it. Yes. Perilously close to that fielder there. He was looking to play it up. Bit of weight. That's enough for Rohit. But the timing. He picks up another boundary. It's just a little bit of weight. Not too much. But look at that balance. And look at the way he's punched it again off the back foot. Beautiful shot. High on his toes. There is a fielder there. But we'll beat him for four. Gee, the timing was better than he probably thought. He had about 10 or 15 meters to go to his right. Hit his spot beautifully. There's not much of pace in the ball. Rolls his wrists. And well, he'll get a boundary, but he's probably just told Angelo Matthews, you know what, that's what I think of your pace. He's advanced a good yard down the wicket, not for me though, dibbly dobbly, he says. Look how far down he comes. Well, he's decided he can't reach with one step, might as well take two, three. And reach to the pitch of the ball. Come on, come on, A short and wide. Punched off the back foot. That's a welcome boundary. 72 for four. Looking to take some pace off the ball, but timing. Beautiful. On the pads and Rohit Sharma just working it through that gap at mid wicket. So good to watch. Absolutely delectable shot there from... Uh, Rohit Sharma. Just a couple of steps towards the bowler. Picked it very nicely. Once again, timing. It's a key role he's playing. He's made 47 out of the 77 India has made. Gets it behind square leg. That's a lovely shot indeed. That's another boundary. That's his half century. Back to back boundaries. Just moved inside and rolled his wrists off his hips. Yeah, once again, wonderful to watch. So easy on the eye. Rohit Sharma. That's another one. That's another one. Back to back, it's consecutive boundaries. That was short. And he was on to it. That's the third one in a row. Yeah, it was short and quick. But Rohit Sharma is very quick onto that pull shot. And rolls the wrists as well. Look how good he is. Just a chip over Midon. Midon inside the circle. And Rohit Sharma deliberately going over that man. That's been his intention. The last time he came down the track, he was eyeing that man at mid on this time. Once again, not trying to overhit it, although Tim get the whole of it. As long as it stays in proximity, all is well. Oh, that's beautifully played. Gee, the timing on that shot was incredible. We've seen some gems from Rohit Sharma today, and that's another. Yeah, quicker. Rohit Sharma plays it late to get it away from the fielder in the deep. 
The runs are flowing. What it means is he doesn't quite get the leverage to hit the big sixes, but he doesn't want to hit those just now. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Just the relative ease with which he finds the boundary. It's like a paintbrush, isn't it? Not a big gap. That back leg, he pulls away so that he can create the right angle with the body to paint that, as you say. Timing perfect. Take that. Pitched up. And he goes over me down. That's the boundary. So that's what he was waiting for, that pitched up delivery. So he could get under it and hit it over the infield. You can see that. Easily done, comfortably done. Not looking to hit the big shot really. Just looking to get the timing right so he could hit it over the infield. That's up in the air. Is it going to go the distance? Yes, it does. It's a big six. Down the wicket. And then got a lot of height too. Rohit Sharma. What a fair bit of height. And then the distance. What he'd also done was he'd picked the spot between that fielder at uh, Longon and deep mid-wicket. The fielder at Longon is a bit too cool. That's his 100. That's his uh, 12th ODI 100. Also happens to be the 8th outside India. Like it's a 15th in a chase for Rohit Sharma. His third versus Sri Lanka. And his first 100 on Sri Lankan soil. And what a magnificent effort. What a magnificent effort by the uh, Indian opener. 164. 100 of the partnership comes up, but Roy Sharma is on song here, yeah, and a few better sights in the game when he's batting like this. Yeah, enjoyed every moment of it. That makes some classy shots. Back for a second spell. Starts off with a loosener. That's the moment he got his hundred. She'll be happy. Oh, that's in the gap. Just such pleasure. Just beating the. Such good awareness. He's taken it from outside off stump. The angle from Vishnu Fernando. There's no fielder there. Just leans into it. This could be the wicket. No, it isn't. The moment you were circling underneath, you knew he was gone. Feel that. Was in the air for a long, long time. Charmara Kapugedara, today's captain. Very difficult to run backwards. Goes for it and gets a boundary. 200 up of the Indian innings. Outside the leg stump and it deals with it quite comfortably. 